Tony Roby, assistant coach here at Virginia Tech. Coach Roby, talk about the direction 2008-2009 for the Hokies. Well, we're, we're pretty excited this year about uh, what, what release we have on paper. I mean, it's kind of the first year since we've been here. This is year three for us. Um, and I think everybody in the wrestling world knows the situation at Virginia Tech um, when, when Kevin Dresser took over and I came in shortly afterward. And uh, it was, you know, the cupboards were pretty bare. So this is the first year in the, in the three years that we've been here where we finally have some kids, uh, you know, we're throwing 10 guys out on the mat that, uh, that we feel like are going to be really good Division One wrestlers. I mean, you know, the, the downside is they're all freshmen and sophomores. We're probably going to start uh, five freshmen, five sophomores. Um, but, you know, with that said, we think they all have the ability and, more importantly, the desire to be successful at this level. And based on what we've seen uh, the, the five or six weeks that we've been in school, uh, they've got the work ethic now. You know, I mean, working hard for five or six weeks is not hard to do. Working hard for you know four or five years is what what makes you ultimately successful and is going to help guys become all Americans, national champions. But um, we're real excited about the direction. We feel like we've done really well recruiting the last two years. Um, we feel like we're going to have another good year recruiting this year. So you know, the future of Virginia Tech wrestling, we feel like, is is really really bright. Okay, so talk about coming from New York to Virginia. What, what was that experience like? You were the head coach at Binghamton. I, yeah, I was the head coach at Binghamton University for about uh, 16 months, was there. Uh, they reinstated the program. I got hired, uh, I think, in April, and we had to field a team for the following year, which was really, really difficult to do, considering there's no wrestlers on campus. So uh, that year was a really difficult year, and, um, you know, that, that I, I, even I, when I left made the decision to leave, I felt like the, the position there wasn't a bad position. I mean, I felt like they could be successful. I, think, I feel like Pat Papaliza is doing a good job up there. Um, for me, it was just a move. It, it was uh, just a better situation for me and my family. And um, being in an atmosphere like Virginia Tech, I mean, it's obviously a lot different than, than the atmosphere at Binghamton. So uh, it was a good move for me. I'm real happy here. Uh, I'm glad I made the move and plan on being here for a long time. So. Okay, you're an Edinburgh guy, right? I'm an Edinburgh guy, yeah. Talk about Edinburgh. What you like about it? What everybody I talk to loves about it? Well, I mean, I think the, the, the great thing about Edinburgh is obvious. It's the wrestling, you know. And, and for me, it was, uh, it was a blessing going to Edinburgh. I mean, I came out of high school. And I wasn't really highly recruited recruit. I, I, Where are you from? I'm from Erie, Pennsylvania. Oh, you are from Erie. Yeah. Did you go to Cathedral Prep? No, I went to Erie Strong Vincent. I went to a public school okay. in, uh, in Erie, which, you know, we had about eight guys on our wrestling team. It was, you know, it was more or less a joke. General Strong Vincent? Yeah, Colonel. Colonel, I'm yeah, sorry. Strong Vincent Colonel. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> that's good. So, but at any rate, um, you know, I, like I said, I wasn't... Uh, Edinburgh was the only school that offered me any kind of scholarship, man, and it wasn't a lot, so I just kind of... 25 minutes away, 20 yeah, minutes 20 away. minutes from home, and, and a lot of my friends from high school went there, and uh, when, I, when I got there, certainly, you know, I don't think they had high expectations uh, of me at that time. Um, I really didn't know what to expect. I had, no, I had never even been to a Division One college wrestling match uh, before the first time I wrestled in one, so... Um, but it was a great experience. I mean, I got thrown to the Wolves my freshman year, and I, and I got put in the lineup, and... Um, kind of uh, had to just uh, keep my head above water for the first half of the year and uh, you know had more and more success as things went on but it, but the, the, the main thing that it taught me is, is just about what it took to be successful in sport of wrestling and uh, the work and the commitment level and the lifestyle and obviously we had really good coaching with Lou Roselli there at the time and Tim Flynn was a big part of my success and uh, a lot of it is just the atmosphere that that I was in there and it allowed me to be successful and allowed me uh, to, to, to say, hey man, this is, you know, you can be good, you know, and once I saw the light about halfway through my freshman year that I could, I felt like I could be really successful Division One wrestler, um, kind of uh, everything changed as far as my commitment and, and all that was concerned, so it was a great experience, you know, the downside is, is, you know, it was routine to go out and you get three or four feet of snow on the ground, and it, you know, obviously. I live in that snow belt too, so I know exactly what you're talking about, not quite as bad as Edinburgh, but yeah, yeah. it's crazy. Yeah, it is. Okay, compare you are at the wrestling school. Edinburgh, that is it. That's the sport there. That's what they showcase. It's the only Division showcase. sport. It's Division Two and every other sport except wrestling. It's Division one. So it's a wrestling school. Talk about, you know, you're at a football school now. I mean, right. B-Tech, right. you know, their, their big thing is their football. Right. What are you guys doing, to be, you know, to kind of uh, harvest, you know, this becoming more and more of a wrestling school? Well, I just think it, it, it's, it's no different than what, what uh, they had in place at Edinburgh when I was there. It's, it's all about 
the commitment level, the atmosphere, the attitude, the environment. And I think once you can create that, and you can get kids to buy into that, and obviously we're at a school where recruiting's not hard. I mean, it's, you know, you take go to a football game, it's a beautiful place, the campus is awesome. Um, but, you know, it's all about getting the right kind of kids and getting those kids to buy into a 12 month year commitment to the sport, training twice a day, and really making that their primary focus uh, for the five years that they're here is to become the best wrestler that they can possibly be. And in order to do that, it's all about, you know, wrestling is a sport that rewards hard work. And, it, it, you, you know, more often than not, you get out of it what you put into it. So that's really what we're trying to create. And uh, we feel like we're, we're on the way, and I know you know, Coach Dresser's got a background at the University of Iowa, so, uh, you know, his philosophies are very similar. So, um, that's what we're trying to do. You got anything else for me? Uh, I don't know, man. Go Hokies. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll break on that. Thanks. <laughs>